Can you remember a guy called Roger Da Silva? Butt shot. So he was one of the assistant superintendents that had no home on Diagama West because nobody wanted to keep him because <laughs> he ate so much. We couldn't afford to keep him. Anyway, in the end, he came and stayed with me. And uh, the, the third or fourth day after he stayed, I, my fridge was groaning. The refrigerator was groaning. When I looked at it, it was chock a block with food. And in the evening, we came back after work and he said, Ken, uh, like a snack? So I said, yeah, of course. I thought a little sandwich or something. And he bought this huge duck. <laughs> and any bread? I said, yeah, we'll have some bread. So he just caught the duck and pulled it. I got the, the neck. And he said, that's for you. <laughs> and he, he ate the rest. I mean, in, before I finished my neck, he had finished the duck. But he was a short putt champion in Sri Lanka. And he was one of our front row forwards. And it's because of guys like Roger that we, yeah. we, he would decimate the, decimate the opponent by sheer strength. He was a, he was a bull. Uh, Owen Matau again. Another story comes to my mind. We were all playing Raga for Dimbulan. We had to go and play in Colombo. So Roger said, no, no, we'll all go and have lunch at my home. Because Owen was going out with uh, Roger's sister, Pinky. Oh. Pink, Pinky was like six foot four, <laughs> about 250 pounds of absolute muscle. And Owen was five foot ten with two muscles. Yeah. Anyway, we went down and we had lunch. It came in a, not a rice plate, it came in a dish. So I thought, now what's this? No, each one got a dish. And a huge, I mean, it's really big. And all curries and all that. I mean, enough for the whole lot of us. And right on top was the whole fish. I mean, just looking at it, I, 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 I was full. But anyway, Roger ate that plus somebody else's. Owen ate a little. We played and... But it, but it pinky... Pinky at half everything. Anyway, after the match, now we, has, we had to go back. And um, no, the next day, Sunday, we're going back. I'm the only one who had a car, so little my Morris, Morris Mini going back. Now we're waiting for Owen to say goodbye to Pinky. So now Owen, Owen had to get on the top step so that his height and Pinky's were then level. And all we heard was, oh, my, my ribs, my ribs. <laughs> She had given him a bear hug to wish him goodbye. Oh, it came back minus ribs. That, that is the last time he met her. <laughs> you are absolutely right. The affair ended very quick after that. Owen preferred to live. I mean, oh. and on that, on that journey up at Ginigatta, we were all very tired and sleepy because we had to wait until Owen said goodbye. <laughs> And the next thing is, I had mounted a bull. It was on the road. The cattle sometimes sleep on the road. And I didn't see this. And this little mini, how it mounted the bull. <laughs> and the bull got up. <laughs> I thought, that's it. We were, we were going backwards, fortunately. So you reversed the process. No, no. The, the back wheel, it slid. And <laughs> the front wheel drive the back wheel slid. And we were there. The bull looked at us and thought, you stupid idiot. From Diagama West, three of us in the car, and just before we got to the church, flat tire. And we looked, somebody had nicked the jack, no jack. So Roger said, what's the problem? So I said, no jack, that's all right. Caught out, come on. There was more people around us watching uh, Charles Atlas lift the car than in church. I mean, this, this guy had immense strength. And he was just a mild mannered fellow. Oh, so mild mannered. Yeah. To win a Raga match, we had to kick his nuts from behind. We had to really get him, you know. Yeah, he used to get angry because he used to say, Roger, hit him. No, God said, never do things like that. Yes, everything was God. And I said, for God's sake. So now we're losing the game. So Roger is in the front. I can see he's, he's bending now. <laughs> Once we were playing Candy versus Dimbula. Who was playing for Candy? His brother, Lorenz. And then when he got this kick, Lawrence said, Oh, Lawrence, hmm. this guy took this ball, man. He just ran through that candy side, like knocking nine pins down. I mean, that was his strength.
Can you remember the time that all of us were in night after a Raga match? We all stayed with Oen. Yes. Vijayanayak and Suji, you and I, mm -hmm. and then Ilva came and said, What a gentleman Oen is! Because he said, Ilva, would you like fruit uh, with your breakfast in the morning? <laughs> so she said, Of course, of course. <laughs> so the next door neighbor had his guava tree. <laughs> so when the plates are put. There was nothing on the plate. Owen said, excuse me, can hold on to my legs and pull up this go and put it on to Hilva's plate and said, your fruit, madam. <laughs> what? Can you remember that day? I mean, Owen, Owen was a <coughs> happy, happy fellow. Happy, happy guy. Happy go lucky. Happy go lucky. Yeah. Owen was happy go lucky. Oh, absolutely. He, he married a girl called Heather Balsing. So Heather's father died, and uh, we all went to the funeral. And Owen then greeting us, much to the annoyance of uh, Heather, please come and meet, uh, please come and view the body. That's Mr. Ball Sang. <laughs> so he didn't go down well at all. Owen, he was a character, gifted his, guy. His father was a character. Ah, old Mr. Mata. Sam oh. was. Oh, sweetie pie. He, he, I think he died at 99 or something. He, he, he was, he was honored by the, by Queen Wilhelmina yeah. of, of Holland. Yes. For his uh, dedicated work at, at the, the Dutch archives yeah. in Nuremberg. Yeah. He was no slug. I can, uh, Sam was a bloody nuisance at uh, golf club meetings because he used to smoked this filthy, smelly Jaffna cigar and he used to bite it when he got angry and he used to shout. We could never finish a meeting. So I thought, what? Well, so one day, one of the American guys from the American Embassy, chap called Mike uh, Pingree, he gave me a Playboy magazine and I still <laughs> happened to have that in my file and I was the president and happened in that file and now I'm trying to get through this meeting when I opened his file and Sam saw, what's that? I said, no, read it. The whole meeting he was quiet. All we heard was a <laughs> So every meeting thereafter, I bought him one of these filthy books. He just kept quiet. He stopped, he stopped smoking. <laughs> Stop smoking. Nothing. <laughs> Joking about Owen Matau, uh, affectionately, if he was still in Sri Lanka, he would have been the oldest assistant superintendent <laughs> in Sri Lanka. Yes, yes. And, but I'll tell you a little story about him. He uh, uh, applied uh, through his father for a planting job with Jack Van Twist. Yes, Madame Pei. At Madame Pei. And Jack Van Twist was a very good or considered himself a good bridge player. So one question he asked Owen was, do you play bridge? And Owen thought, of course I do play bridge. And then he came and told us, Machan, what is this bridge? You know, so he said, it's a car. I don't know anything. But then we said, no, you say this bridge and two by four club and all that. Anyway, Jack set up this fabulous uh, evening with his friends and Oyen Mato was going to partner Jack <laughs> Van Twist in this bridge evening. I don't have to say anything more. I, I, he was the short, he worked the shortest time at Madam. He, I think he lost his job in a week. The, the bridge game was a disaster. He was given one more chance. Jack said, Oyen, I'm going off to Colombo. You're in charge of the bungalow. Please see that uh, people don't people don't use the pool and look after yourself. So Owen invited his, some SDs, other friends, got into Mrs. Van Twist's uh, swimsuit, got Mrs. Van, and, and Van she Twist's was not a, she's not She wasn't very slender, believe me. Yeah, got into that. And then Owen got one of those ducks, that the big ducks, inflatable ducks that he put on uh, onto the water. 
and all his friends were on these ducks and Owen was in Mrs. Uh, Mantua's swimsuit and the party was on. <laughs> Suddenly the Apu came and said, Sir, 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 Big Master is coming. Jack Mantwest had, had a bad weekend, so he and his wife Jenny <coughs> decided to come back early. That was Owen's last his, planting his, job. His swan song. That's the year he was playing fullback for us and uh, he was selected as fullback for upcountry. But he was playing for Jack, who had gated him. He wouldn't let him off the estate. So luckily I knew Jack well enough. I said, Jack, please, don't let him, I don't want him for practice. Please send him for the upcountry, low country game. Oh, no, no, here, that, that. I kept calling him. I said, Jack, please, I haven't asked you for any favors. You know, finally, <clears throat> to cut a long story short, he said, okay. Owen kicked five penalties. I know. Oh, what a player. Five bloody penalties. Because normally, our modus operandi was, in those days, uh, when we were, we were in Colombo, I mean, the, the, the humidity would get to us. The heat. And we lost most of the games in the last 10 or 15 minutes. So our modus operandi was, let's kick to touch. Because they only had one ball in those days. So we kicked the ball way out. Even that half minute or one, 45 seconds of extra breathing time gave us this extra stamina yeah, yeah. to continue. And that's the game that uh, we won. We, five field goals, five, five uh, penalties. And also, he was, a, he was quite a, a, a fast runner. Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. he was also, we used to tell him when he got the ball, run. And he never ran very fast. And we say, uh, there is um, someone behind you to tackle you. He hated to be tackled. So he ran like he got sort of Jesse Owens' sort of legs and he took off. But he was one of those guys, uh, never liked to be tackled, never tackled. But his asset value in the team was fantastic. One of the most talented guys in cricket and rugger. Anything that he Never had. really tried. Golf, no? Super golfer. He would have been a great for Ceylon. Oh, for sure. Uh, the whole damn yeah. thing. One more story of Owen. We were all invited to dinner. So we had many drinks. We were told to bring our own bottles. Uh, and we had this dinner party at Holyrood Estate. So about five or six of us. So dinner was then served. We all sat down. The Appu came and placed this huge dish in the middle of the table and there was rice all over and two miserable sausages. So we thought, well, I mean, okay, something else is going to come. And all were looking at each other. So then Owen said, Apu, help them. So he went round, so he took a little rice, but nobody touched the sausages because there were only two left or there were only two on the, on the plate. But they were large sausages. No, very small, very small. So went round to <laughs> and said, nobody wants any sausages. So what do we say? We couldn't say anything. Okay, thank you. So he put the two sausages and the rice. And we had two, just a, a spoon of rice for our evening meal. That was all.